This video will share the critical partnerships in the innovations in basic education for adults here in Washington. The Washington State Board for Community and Technical Colleges, or SBCTC, is responsible for administering the adult basic education components of the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act of 2014, Title II Adult Education and Family Literacy Act. The elements of this plan were developed and implemented with guidance from key partners and stakeholders that included the Governor-Appointed Adult Education Advisory Council, or AEAC, the Washington Student Achievement Council, or WASAC, the Washington Workforce Association, or WWA, and the Washington Workforce Training and Education Coordinating Board, or WTECB. Our adult basic education programs collaborate with these and many other workforce and social service partners to ensure students gain skills and access resources. Through these partnerships, services provided under Titles I, II, III, and IV of the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, or WIOA, are integrated to the greatest extent possible to tightly align training and support services to the realities of today's job market and the needs of our students and clients. The first key partnership that is critical to our work is our state's Adult Education Advisory Council, or AEAC. The Adult Education Advisory Council was established by the legislature in 1991 to provide policy recommendations about adult basic education. Its members are from across agencies and organizations in Washington State that depend on and support basic education for adults or Title II services. They include people from Employment Security Department, Department of Commerce, Washington Workforce Association, or WDC, Library, Office of the Superintendent of Public Instruction, Department of Corrections, Department of Social and Health Services, American Federation of Teachers, Community and Technical College System, CBS, Skagit County Community Action, Community-Based Organization, Business, Hispanic Community Rep, SBCTC, Director of Adult Basic Education, CTE Student Rep. This group is a highly respected advisory group and really listened to by the governor, legislators, and our state's congressional delegates. The Council has offered recommendations to legislators, the State Board for Community and Technical Colleges, and the Workforce Board on a variety of issues that include a single assessment system for adult basic education across agencies, which resulted in the CASIS test, the setting of $25 tuition rather than the much higher amount proposed by the legislature, and they were the champions for the development, implementation, and expansion of High School Plus to name just a few. The Washington Student Achievement Council, or WASAC, provides strategic planning, oversight, advocacy, and program administration to support increased student success and higher levels of educational attainment in Washington State. WASAC ensures the quality of state financial aid programs and services that support educational access and affordability. WASAC administers the Washington College Grant, which is available to basic skills students concurrently enrolled in college programs. BETA collaborates with WASAC in ensuring that our students are included in policy and initiative building. The goal of the student services staff at the State Board for Community and Technical Colleges is to support the system's colleges in fostering student success. Student services supports college services like financial aid, enrollment, advising, and registration. BETA collaborates with student services to ensure equitable access to resources for BETA students, including access to opportunity grant funds through IBEST, access to federal student aid through Ability to Benefit, and the coordination of advising and navigational services for BETA and transitioning students. The Workforce Training and Education Coordinating Board, or WTECB, is a vital basic education for adults partner. The Workforce Training and Education Coordinating Board is often referred to as the Workforce Board and is the state agency with the primary responsibility for coordinating the planning and implementation of the four titles and additional state partners for Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act. 
This is primarily accomplished through their leadership in coordinating the development and revisions of the state plan and its updates every two years. In addition to WIOA coordination, the Workforce Board is responsible for regulating private training schools and administering veterans' training funds. The Workforce Board also influences the policy and actions of the Workforce Development Councils in Washington. This is all done to accomplish the Workforce Board's primary goal of strengthening and enhancing the overall workforce development system for all Washington residents. Basic Education for Adults also works with the Washington Workforce Association, or WWA. The WWA coordinates and advocates for the state's Workforce Development Councils, or WDCs. The WDCs are divided by region, with 12 regions throughout the state of Washington. When convening and consensus amongst the WDCs is needed, the WAA can bring them all together. One example was the work done with BETA and the WWA to craft the state WIOA Memorandum of Understanding between the BETA programs and the local workforce development councils. The workforce development councils direct the use of the WIOA Title I funds and have the convening responsibility for the WIOA partners in planning for their regions. The workforce development councils help residents become employed re-enter the workforce, or move ahead in their careers. The WDC is a statewide network of offices established to collaborate with community leaders, employers, job seekers, and unions. One of the most direct actions all BETA providers have with their WDC is the annual submission of their master grant continuation so the WDC can comment on alignment with the regional workforce plan. Basic Education for Adults and each local workforce development council, in collaboration with other WIOA core partners, are required under the Act to share infrastructure costs among one-stop partners. All one-stop partner programs must contribute to the infrastructure costs and certain additional costs of the one-stop delivery system based on their proportionate use, as required by the WIOA. A partner's contribution must be an allowable, reasonable, necessary, and allocable cost to the program, consistent with the federal cost principles set forth in the Uniform Guidance. Washington State is seen as a national leader in corrections education. The State Board for Community and Technical College's long and highly successful partnership with the Washington State Department of Corrections has resulted in an educational system that provides life-sustaining educational opportunities for incarcerated adults. Our corrections education programs are working to mirror what happens on our college's main campuses. Mirroring the programming on our main campuses, corrections education has programming in high school completion, GED and HS+, college preparation, high-wage, high-demand workforce skills, and college-level certificates and degrees. Our corrections programs are satellite college campuses. Please explore the additional resources available in the Resources section of this Canvas module for more information on partnerships. Of particular relevance to this video are the following documents and websites. U.S. Department of Education, Washington Adult Education and Advisory Council, Washington State Achievement Council, Washington State Student Services Commission, or SBCTC, Washington Workforce Training and Coordinating Board, Washington Workforce Association, Infrastructure Funding of the One-Stop Delivery System, Washington State Department of Corrections, Washington Basic Education for Adults.